Alrighty, everybody, we are now going over the 2021 January Gamer season with another Power Rankings. So, here we go. Before we get started, there are eight games on this list, which is about 66% of all, the, uh, all 12 of them. Now, eventually, all of them will be on here. As we keep adding more and more in the power rankings. Alrighty. Let's do this. So, in first place is Fall Guys Ultimate Knockout with a staggering 75 points, which was collected over a period of since the beginning of the season from the video but from the streams it's picked up a lot ever since so I guess some things say fall guys is meant to be streamed super roblox card however they pick up views whenever they want they are at 72 points and they are only three points away from taking the lead and if they take the lead they are on a very successful role in season one as they are currently in second. So, yeah. In third, we have LEGO Star Wars with 62 points, which is only down from the lead by 13 points. And they were in the lead of, at some point. But both Fall Guys and Super Roblox card eventually beat them. As the placement keeps switching. This season's not over yet. As we still got games that haven't had their streams done yet. Like for example, G Dash. Their streams haven't their stream is coming I think this weekend. So therefore, they could possibly take it the lead if they, with their um, stream attempt. As they are currently at 14 points. Already in, Among Us is in fifth right now with 12 points. But again, the video didn't come out too long ago. Dragon Ball Fighters, they came. Their video did come out a while ago, and they're stuck at 10 at 10 points. They haven't gotten any points ever since. And then Brawlhalla is in a standstill as well. They're stuck at 8 points. And then the video that just came out this morning was from Minecraft. They're at 8 points right now. But they're not going to stay there because I don't think they will. So Brawlhalla might get eliminated throughout the first season. I never expected that. Minecraft's also got to do better right now. If they don't get through the power rankings, then they're going to lose as well. So now we talk about the divisions. As first, second, as in the um, tier four division, which includes Fall Guys, Lego Star Wars, and SRK. Fall Guys is leading in that division, so they'll probably be played on tier four. In the tier 3 division, there is Brawlhalla, Dragon Ball Fighters, and G Dash. And G Dash is in the lead in that division, so they'll probably play on the tier 3 day. And the tier 2 division, which is now underway, has only two of the, of the games on the list, which include Minecraft and Among Us. Among Us is beating the crap out of Minecraft right now by, um, what, four points? So they're in the lead in that division. So they'll probably be played on a tier 
today. Now, the final Tier 3 game, I forgot which was. But we're going to go over the rest of the games. We have Mario Kart Tour coming up eventually as they're coming. We have Fortnite coming. And we have Flat Out coming tomorrow, which is the final game in the, the third division. And then the fourth division is Fortnite. No, this is the... F no, this is the first game of the fourth division. We should have nine games. We should have nine games. Why do we not have nine games? We have Fall Guys, Star Wars, SRK, Brawlhalla, G Dash, Dragon Ball Fighters. Oh, yeah, because we played the one today. So the one today doesn't count. That's right. Madden Mobile was the um the one that you're about to watch is currently the last one in that division. So yeah, this is the schedule right here. For the next week, for the next seven days after today, we have Flat Out Total Insanity, which is going to be new. And then there's... Then there's Brawlhalla. Brawlhalla is coming live, which means they could possibly get that surge to beat the rest of the games. We'll see what happens. Same with G-Dash. G-Dash is the best when it comes to streams. They are the strongest when it comes to live streams. And then we got the Dragon Ball Fighters stream, which I don't know how that's going to work. But then you got the holiday streams, but those holiday streams are, are probably just going to be regular Roblox games. And they won't contribute to anything. But then on Tuesday, next Tuesday, Fortnite comes into the mix. Which, me, which is 11th seed. And eight days from now, we'll play the final mobile game of the season. And then all 12 would be on the leaderboards. And then it would be just a matter of time before the season ends. Alrighty, and that's that. Now it's time for you to enjoy the video. Hello everyone, Huge Odin one here. Today we are playing Madden NFL Mobile for today's video, and we're gonna just do one match because I recorded earlier and it didn't work. So in this case, we're playing against the Buccaneers. And we are gonna hopefully win this game. Because I accidentally deleted the footage of the original video. So yeah, that was bad. This time, let's actually play football. Okay. That is a great catch. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. 
interception. He came out of nowhere and just caught that. Let's go. I wish I could choose well off the ground. Because you can have alternate routes. How did he catch that? Let's run in. Oh, I'm not even controlling my character. I, you think you're controlling your character, but you're not. Did I just say fake field goal? This is not working! Why did they recommend that play? We're not losing or anything. Like, sheesh! Hurry! We can still score a touchdown! Or not, because this stupid game decides to be slow and cost me the game because. I can't even do a touchdown. Yeah, that's how this game works, apparently. But if you lose a game, don't be like this guy. Uh, interception return, right? This bullshit, he pissed the fuck off! <laughs> <laughs> bullshit! Bullshit! Be smart. So yeah, that's a good game. So if you enjoyed, please comment, like, and subscribe, and I will see you guys tomorrow.